All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today, I'm going to go ahead, sit down, and talk about the expanded postseason bracket for this year's 2020 Major League Baseball playoffs. Now, this is actually exciting because of everything that's been going on in the world the past few months. We have a shortened regular season for Major League Baseball, 102 games less than what we're used to as each team only plays 60 games, but... Come September 29th, when the playoffs begin, there's going to be more teams in, more games played, and I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of teams making it this year that maybe wouldn't have if it was a regular 2020 162 game regular season schedule and a regular playoff bracket, something that we're more used to. We're going to talk about it all today, and in my next video, or one of my next videos, I'm going to give you guys my postseason predictions, who I think is going to win everything the world series the division series the championship series uh the wild card i just went completely out of order but that's okay here we go guys if you are ready for this video don't forget to drop a like down below comment and subscribe if you haven't already but without further ado let's get into it the 2020 expanded playoff bracket for major league baseball the first big change that we see with the 2020 playoff format is that 16 teams will be eligible for the postseason. That's a lot more than we're used to. Eight representing the American League, eight from the National League, and the playoffs start on September 29th, 2020. That really gives teams a lot of chances here to go ahead and make something happen. For maybe some of these mid to lower level teams, they have a chance at a playoff berth that they might not have seen in their franchise in the past few seasons. And again, in a future video, I'll let you guys know who I think benefits from this the most. But there are some teams that really could surprise us here, make the playoffs, and shake things up a bit. So I'm excited for that. And with this new amount of teams that are allowed in, we're going to see, of course, a lot more playoff games than we're used to. So a shortened regular season, but expanded playoff, it's going to be really fun. And really, even with the shortened MLB regular season, every game feels like a playoff game atmosphere just because it means so much. One win is worth 2.7 wins in a 162 game regular season. One loss, 2.7 losses in a full season. So this is fun. This is exciting. And it's going to be something for us all to look forward to. Again, 16 teams make it now. Eight from the American League, eight from the National League. So I said that 16 teams make the playoffs this year, eight in the American League and eight in the National League, but how are they determined? Well, of course, you have your three division winners who will get the top three seeds depending on their record. So the AL West, the AL Central, and the AL East uh, will fight it out. So whoever has the best regular season record will get the number one seed, second best, number two seed, and obviously the third best will get the number three seed. Same thing applies for the National League. And then you have your second place teams in all three divisions. The best record will get the fourth place seed, second best, fifth place seed, third best, sixth place seed. So that is your six of eight seeds right there. And then you look at all three divisions and you have your wild card spot now, what they are considering the wild card spot. So the two teams with the best records who are not already in the playoffs will get that seven and eight seed. And that is how that works, again, for the American League and the National League. So a little bit of changes here. You have your three division winners, your three second place teams, and your two wild card teams. It is a little bit different. I don't know if they're going to continue with this in 2021 and on. I think this is just for the 2020 season because of the shortened year and they want to give more teams the playoff berth. But yeah, I mean, pretty exciting stuff. Eight teams per division, or sorry, eight teams per league. Really fun, really exciting. And now let's get into the changes here for the wild card and on. So in years past, we are used to a wild card game. But this year in the American League and National League postseason, we are going to see a wild card series, which is a best of three matchup. All eight teams will participate. So the best team doesn't get an off series here. And it's going to be home field advantage for the higher seed. Now we're going to take you through the matchups here, and the number one team will play the number eight team, the number two team will play the number seven team, the number three seed against the number six seed, and the number four seed against the number five seed. So I hope that makes sense here. I can't give examples because that is going to be my prediction video, which again comes out soon, but this is really interesting here. It's no longer a one game elimination matchup. It's a best of three, so we're going to see some competitive teams here going into at least two or three games in the wild card series and i'm excited i've always been on the fence with the one game elimination i like that it is like win or lose like winner takes all here and they move on of course but any given team can have an off day where they just don't play to what they're used to playing their expectations or whatever 
And that's especially the case in the postseason where every game means more. You know, the regular season, just a pitcher can have a bad day or the team just might not be able to hit well. In the playoffs, where it means so much more, these teams can easily just choke and give up, especially in just a single game. So now in a best of three, you don't have to win the first game and be done with it. You play at least two games, uh, sometimes three, depending on how the series will go. And this is exciting. This gives teams another chance here to go ahead and move on to the division series the wild card is really the biggest that changes here out of the wild card series the division series and the league championship and of course the world series but i'm excited for this more games in the wild card series a lot of fun matchups it's gonna be fun the division series doesn't look too much different than it has in years past the matchups are being between the winner of the one and eight seed series and then the winner of the four and five seed series, as well as the winner of the two and seven seed series playing against the winner of the three and six seed series in the wild card series. That's for both the American League and the National League. Now, home field advantage is decided by the higher seed in both matchups. And the layout is two games home, two games away, and one game home for that better team, that higher seed team. The majority of the big changes come from the wild card series and what comes before that with the 16 teams being utilized now in the playoffs instead of what we're used to, the smaller number. So the division series doesn't change too much. The league championship series doesn't change too much, and neither does the world series. The League Championship Series determines who will go to the World Series based off of the winners in the Division Series, and the two teams that advanced from the Division Series will play each other in both the American League and the National League in a best-of-seven set. Now, the home-and-away layout looks like this. Two games at home, three games away, and two games at home for the team with the higher seed. Now, those last two games are only necessary if there is not already a winner in the first five games of the set. So... Not a lot of changes here. Again, the two teams that advance from the Vision Series will play each other in both the American League and the National League. The winner moves on to the World Series, and then they battle it out for the best team in Major League Baseball that season. In any given season, the World Series is one of the most highly anticipated series of the entire year. You have a best of seven series between the American League champions and the National League champions. We get to see who the best team in Major League Baseball is for that season, and that does not change here at all. It is still a best of seven set, and the layout for home and away games are as follows. It's a 2-3-2 two, two format, and the initial team with home field advantage is based off of who had the better regular season record. So they start at two games at home, then they go away for three games, and if games six and seven are necessary, they return back to their home stadiums for the final games of the matchup. This is exciting. I mean, the World Series is always amazing, and there really aren't many changes to the League Championship Series or the World Series. The big takeaways from this expanded playoff format is that just 16 teams make it to that September 29th date, and it goes from there. The Wild Card Series is also a big change, but other than that, not much is really too different here with the playoffs. Again, every game feels like it's more important in this shortened 60 game regular season. It feels like a playoff atmosphere, but once we get to the playoffs, it's going to feel like a World Series atmosphere in every game because it really does matter so much more. We get less regular season games, but more playoff games. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun year. We are a few games into the regular season and I love having baseball back. The playoffs is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, I'm going to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.